sometimes what we do is we will we'll find like a pickup point. We'll kind of learn from that point for a while, and then we'll come back and we'll learn the, the beginner stuff again. Kind of put everything together. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes what what we'll do is we'll we'll learn up to a certain point, and then um, we want to do the add-on, but we have new students in the class, so what we'll do is we'll jump to a later point in the in the unit, and then we'll it'll be fresh for everybody, so it's like this new thing for everyone. Um, but I'm going to do the pickup from here. We're doing this push down. Yes, sir. And this one's I'm going to kind of give a a little bit of a it's correction, but it's just kind of like a little detail. That is, whenever we're pushing down, we're turning a little bit with our body, so that and it's and it's not that much because this is kind of our it's not quite a bow stance and it's not quite a dragon stance. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're close to our drag stance. Okay. Um, so my, my hips are still kind of square, but my shoulders are kind of turning a little bit. Yes, sir. Um, I don't, I, yeah, it's not, it's not terribly exaggerated, so we're not like turning and trying to get it here. It's still just kind of, we're pushing down into progress. Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to pick up where we were at. We're going to start with that block. So when we do this, we're going to shift into that left bow stance. We're going to step, step, step even, and then it's going to be cut as we go for that cat stance. And then once we're done with that cut, we're going to flip it over so that the dull side of the blade is up against us, okay? Sir. All right, this is the new stuff. We're going to cut up, we're going to cut down, and then it's going to be a circle, switch feet, and we're going to pull it. And when we pull it, it's just going to come straight to our side. So you can think of this as the, you're removing the blood from your saber. Yes, sir. So it was, this was, this was the slash, cut, cut. So the first thing to do is slinging the blood off and then wiping the blood off. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. This is a, this is kind of an awkward position for us to be in. The next move is just going to be to look forward and stand. This is all pretty easy. These are your, we, they, all we did was add one more move. What we learned last time. Okay. This next one, I'm going to get my foot on one of these squares so you can see. So this next one, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up on my heel. And I'm going to turn my foot so my foot is facing forward. I'm blocking with the back of my saber and I'm stepping back with my right foot. It's going to be an awkward position. It's going to be a weird cross stance that we're going to wind up in. So we're here, we're resetting the foot, we're blocking with the back of the saber, okay? Stepping back. Clearing that blade one more time. So, yes. Uh, that back foot, we're going to be up on the ball of our foot. So, stabbed, reset our foot, we're blocking with the back of the saber, stepping back, okay? Next move is to grab with that left hand, Stab. So we just did two stabs. We did a stab in front, and then we're blocking the person behind us, and then we're stabbing him. That twisting out of that first stab 
Yes, sir. It's a little tricky. So it's, it's very tricky. It's so a step or a turn. It's the turn. And as you're turning, you're blocking with the back of the saber. And you're coming all the way around, over the head, and then back. Let's break this down one more time. Stabbing. Stabbing. We're just going to drop. We're going to shift all of our weight onto that right leg. As we turn that left toe in, we're continuing to turn. It's going to go over our head. Got it. And it's pulled back. Um, it's going to feel weird. Don't, don't worry about it too much. It's definitely going to feel weird. So we're here. Stab. Shifting back. Over the head. Uh, when this goes over the head, we're not, we're not cutting. So one of the things I want you guys to kind of think about is that it's blocking anything that may be coming towards your back. Okay. Got it. Um, Uh, forgive me for this anachronism. Uh, it's like if you've gotten, if you're playing Cowboys and Indians as a kid and you've got shot with arrows in the back, you're cutting all the arrows off the back. Okay. It's a, it's a weird symbolism. Yeah, that, that makes sense. sense. But, it, it, but it should kind of make sense. Because the idea is that you're blocking anything that's coming behind you. So we're going to step back, behind, step forward, stab. And when we do this stab, um, your, your wrist is going to go up. So we've only learned uh, three new moves. <laughs> one of them was complicated. Yeah, one very. Of them's, one of them's a little weird. It's it's weird because it's like it's I didn't I didn't really do anything. It's not that big of a move, but this one's this one's also difficult for students to learn. Um, I we have students that do this for six months, a year, maybe they still don't get this this one specific move. Huh. Yeah, it's a lot to literally wrap your head around. It's yep. like, whoa. It, it's really you're just doing a block and pull, but. <laughs> it looks so easy <laughs> when you do it. <laughs> but you, it's, there's, there's a lot of moves to this. You're shifting back onto that heel. Your toes going forward. You're blocking with the saber. It's going behind your back, and you're pulling it to the waist. Good. 
Yeah, those last two were a lot easier. <laughs> that one tricky one in there. Um, okay, I'm gonna, where were we? Here, I'm gonna preview what we're gonna do next. So we're just gonna do an unwind, and it's gonna be those cuts we've learned in class. And then there's gonna be a little flourish. And then there's gonna be double jump kick. And then that's the midway point, that's where we're gonna stop. Sir. But, um, that jump is spinny kicky party. <laughs> that one takes an entire class. Head instructor. Bow to beginner level students and everybody at home. Yes, All right. Magic back training is missed. 